What if I told you? Every star you've ever seen started the same way, by losing a tug of war. Here's the big question. How do stars form? Do they all explode? Picture a giant cloud in space. Cold. Dark. Huge. Gravity starts pulling inward. Gas. Dust. Like a slow-motion avalanche. The cloud collapses. It breaks into clumps. Each clump spins faster, like a figure skater, heating up at the center. That hot, dense center? That's a protostar. Now the magic? The core gets insanely hot and dense. Hydrogen fuses into helium. Fusion turns the star on, like lighting a cosmic campfire that pushes back on gravity. That balance, gravity in, fusion out, keeps a star stable for millions to billions of years. Do they explode? Sometimes. Small stars like our sun don't go boom. They swell into red giants. They puff off their outer layers. That creates a gorgeous planetary nebula. The core becomes a white dwarf. No explosion, just a dramatic glow-up. Big stars live fast, die loud. Eight times the sun's mass or more. Fusion builds heavier elements. Carbon, oxygen, silicon. Until it hits iron. Iron is the cosmic dead end. Fusing it costs energy. Gravity wins. The core collapses in a blink. Then it rebounds and blasts the outer layers outward. A supernova. That blast forges elements like gold, iodine, and flings them across the galaxy. Left behind? A neutron star. Matter so dense a teaspoon weighs a mountain. Or, if it was enormous, a black hole. So yes, stars are born from collapsing clouds. They burn by fusion. Only the hefty ones explode. And the stuff in your bones and brain? Cooked in ancient stars. Delivered by explosions. We're literally recycled stardust with Wi-Fi. Kinda makes looking up at night feel personal, right? If that blew your mind even a little, follow for more big questions with simple answers.